in school, I lived for sports day. Would listen around to hear who was, they were saying was fast and I wanted to beat them. So my wanted to be was be a runner. But mum told me it was too far to get to a sanctuary, which I now know is not, not true. I have great memories of growing up in Finglas. We only had a three-bedroom house. The parents got one bedroom, so the boys got one room, the girls got another room, so there was four girls and three boys. It was very old school back then. Your mum's best friends were her neighbours. Your best friends were your neighbours. As people got older and part of the group started to segregate, things got really tough. We had very close family and friends fall into that dark hole of addiction and, you know, it happened so quick but it takes so long to get back out of. Everyone has a struggle of some sort in their household. It's very hard to put into words, but I thought with the biggest struggle, when I look back now, I realised that there was no support. It was just up to you and your family. Who do you go to talk to? Where do you go for help? I had Aaron's Isle to go to. Growing up, I was definitely a quiet, shy person. You get to know yourself when you play a sport. You really get to know yourself. My experiences with people over the years has been the best part of my career. Maybe just fell madly head over heels and over me. <laughs> it's funny how all of a sudden when something different's happening in life, everyone wants to know. Oh. People thought I was dating a girl. They were suddenly like, oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you going with? You know, and... I'm like, I'm still the same person, and I'm still going to the same club, I'm still playing the same sport. Why am I putting a label on myself? Obviously, Mary gave birth to Ellen, and I was still training away, and, you know, my focus was still kind of like, win a second All-Ireland, and for the back of your mind, you're coming home then to this lovely experience, you know, this baby's getting ready to be born. It was 2016. We had just gone out of the championship on a score difference. I remember coming off the pitch and everybody was just gutted and going off and thinking, oh, next year. And I was kind of coming off thinking, I don't know if there is a next year. I've given 25 years, got two All-Irelands, I've got an All-Star, I've made the best friends and, you know, it's, it's a good time to exit. The fact that you're never going to put the jersey on again, like, you know, it's just kind of like, oh God, I never thought this day would come. And to actually physically say the words was, was heartbreaking. But we did it. <laughs> so my name is Louise O'Hara and I've played Dublin Camogie for 25 years.